Hi everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you have been here before today you guys I'm going to be sharing with you five autumn kind of like autumn winter outfits depending on where you live what your weather is like but we're definitely talking more knitwear more layers I have transitioned my wardrobe from summer to autumn I have recently posted a video about my capsule autumn wardrobe if you guys haven't seen that I will leave the link in the description box below but otherwise I've got all my outfits ready so let's Let's jump in. So today I picked five casual but I think quite interesting outfits. I've tried to layer them up. We have five different shoes, I've got some different outwear, a few different accessories. So I think let's dive straight into the, um, the rail and start dressing up. So first I've got some jeans and I showed you these jeans in my autumn capsule um, wardrobe. So these are the Anin Bing ones and I just really love the color of the denim. I like the distressed detail on the knees um, and I'm wearing a very handy wrap dress. And I wanted to mention the little top that I'm wearing. So this is uh, a range of underwear at Uniqlo and I really wanted to mention it for all of you guys and girls out there if you're looking for a very nice seamless underwear but also something that is just very beautiful against the skin as far as the material go I would definitely recommend having a look at Uniqlo I really like this because you can wear this as a bra but I wear this under white shirts and t-shirts because you know some of the white shirts and t-shirts are very see-through you can basically see just kind of the outlines of your bra and nothing else well this kind of solves that problem because you have the shirt part of it so you have some more material underneath I've just popped a knitted top on this is from Nadam and I love Nadam every time I go to New York I always end up going to their shops and buying some cashmere or knitted pieces I love a halter neck and obviously it depends where you live if you can go sleeveless or not you can of course go for a turtleneck for any kind of shirt but I am quite enjoying this kind of halter neck and then I'm just gonna put some boots on these are my ash um, suede brown boots Then the last piece I have here is my favorite coat of the moment that some of you might be sick of seeing but I'm definitely not sick of wearing it and it's my Zara coat so here is pretty much our first outfit I would just grab a bag and I'm just gonna go for my favorite bag of the moment my Dior saddle and this is the first outfit complete so some jeans a simple top a nice oversized jacket you can go for a colorful jacket a camel jacket would look great as well or a trench coat would look fantastic too I'm definitely enjoying like a straight wider jean at the moment rather than a skinny one even though I still wear the skinny ones but I am really loving the textures and the colors of this outfit and it feels really good and because I feel quite fitted on the waist and on the top I don't mind wearing an oversized jacket This was our outfit number one. For the second outfit, we're kind of going a little bit darker, a little bit grungier, I think that's a word, a little bit more of a rock star look than cute and pastel-y. So I've got some leggings that I showed you in one of my recent videos from H&M. They're the burgundy pair. So I've got my leggings on and like I showed you last time, these have zips at the front. So they have this like cool feature that you can either zip them down and wear them with, I don't know, boots, like you can tuck it in, or you can have a little shoe that will peek under from the flare out. Uh, I'm going for some boots this are my Massimo Ducci boots they have stuffed paper in them never mind by the way yes I do stuff pretty much all my shoes with either paper or like cuts and inserts um, I feel like especially if they're leather or soft kind of leather shoes um, they keep the shape better and also it keeps the moisture away and on the top I'm also going to layer up a little thin turtleneck from H&M as well 
These are so affordable and they come a few different colors, but they're so thin and so beautiful on the skin. And these are just made out of cotton and they just feel so nice on. And then I'm just gonna layer it with a blazer jacket. You could go for a biker jacket, for a blazer, for a trench coat again. Um, you can even layer it up with a denim jacket, but I am quite feeling the blazer. And then of course you can get the sleeves a little bit higher um, you can go for a black boot here but i'm quite enjoying this light alternative color to a normal lace boot um, i'm really feeling these boots at the moment i have been wearing them with different dresses and with skirts and i really like them that kind of cream white color but at the same time they've got this really chunky black sole and to go with the mood with the flow i would definitely get um, maybe my rockstar bag from Valentino, something like this. And that is our second outfit complete. Of course, you can layer up more, you can wear a chunkier jumper underneath, but I'm enjoying the colors, very autumnal, and very different to the first outfit that I showed you. The next outfit let's go into something cozy and warm so i have changed into a white shirt so this is one of my favorite shirts it's from h&m and it's quite a nice thick cotton the reason why i especially like it is because of the details on the sides but basically i was just after a longer white shirt you can also go for a t-shirt if you have one and then i've just popped my and knitted H&M trousers on. I love them again. I showed them to you in one of my recent hauls. They kind of like flare out at the bottom. And I really like the color, the kind of brown gray. And I'm gonna pop some sneaks on. This is one of my oldest pairs of sneaks. This is from Massimo Dutti, but I really like them. And I kind of am refusing to throw them away because I like them so much. I do, um, I don't need to replace them really because you can definitely see how long and how much I have been wearing them for. But for now, they will do just fine. I just think any kind of clean white sneaker uh, will look quite nice with this because we're going to layer this up a little bit. So from there, I'm going to put a jumper on and this is uh, an H&M jumper. This is wool and cashmere blend. And I bought these pieces separately. I wasn't planning to wear them together, but when they arrived, I actually realized how similar the color is and I quite like um, how they look together in that kind of very, cozy knitwear style but I am layering it up with a shirt because I think that it's nice to have that kind of light pop of color underneath. So I've popped the jumper on and as you can see you can just see a little bit of the shirt and I think that kind of little details make a big difference. You could also get the cuff out and roll the sleeves on the jumper up if you wanted to see even more of the shirt which actually looks quite nice I think and because I'm treating this treating while well, thinking of this outfit as a bit more casual and or a bit more sporty I also grabbed my little backpack um, this is a Gucci backpack it absolutely doesn't have to be a Gucci backpack it's just that I tend to splash the cash on designer bags and then I do a lot of shopping uh, on the high street this is our outfit number three Okay, moving on to outfit number four, we're going into some pleather leggings. So I've just popped a pair of uh, fake leather leggings on. These are from H&M and I actually have a few different black leggings like that, but I always end up 
we're using these or reaching for these because they're most comfortable ones i love them they're just on an elastic they don't have any zips or anything they're super comfortable they're a good length on me considering that i'm five foot nine and a half a lot of the times leggings like this can be quite short but they're pretty good length especially if i'm wearing them with boots so on top of that i'm going to put a sweatshirt and the one that i'm loving at the moment is the anin bing one um with the beautiful photo and i'm gonna pop that on but any kind of gray oversized or maybe even pastel oversized um, sweatshirt I think will look really nice or maybe a hoodie. I'm gonna go with some white cowboy style boots. These are actually from Marks and Spencers. This was such a find and such a steal. Sometimes you really have to look for things and um, you might even find them and I like that they have this kind of little silver detail on the tip of the of the shoe and the sole is just a black sole but I'm really enjoying these boots and they were very affordable and then I would probably grab the same bag that I showed you earlier so maybe my rock stud and that is our outfit number four you could of course layer this up I would go either for a denim jacket or for a biker jacket I feel incredibly comfortable in the sweatshirt like it's like something that you would wear at home and just spend time in bed and lounging around but you're actually going out and you look quite stylish and like you may an effort the leggings make it so comfortable these are so stretchy and you don't have to constantly pull them up which I do find a lot uh, with some other ones but this ones don't do that so I am quite happy with that definitely let me know in the comment section below which is your favorite outfit of the day this is number four we have number five coming up but yeah this is this might be one of my favorites today Okay, my friends, last one to go. We're going a little bit earlier um, into a dress. So I've got the dress on and I am repeating myself a little bit with this dress because I showed it to you in my autumn capsule collection, but I just love this dress so much. And the outfit that I'm showing is quite similar, but again, I'm really feeling the style. And these are my kind of five favorite autumn outfits of the moment. Somebody asked me the other day, do you never wear socks with shoes? And guys, I always wear socks with shoes. I never ever wear shoes without socks or tights. It's just that when I film these videos, I find it easier to be barefoot. Um, but yes, I absolutely 100% always wear uh, socks with shoes. Now what that we got that out of the way, I've just popped some cowboy boots on that I love and the brand that are doing them have so many different styles of cowboy boots. I will definitely link the uh, these ones below but I will also leave the links to some of the ones that they do that I love. And I really like how a more heavier boot looks with a very light dress, the same way as I would happily wear it with a lace-up boot or with an ankle boot. And then on top, I'm going to put a little denim jacket. This is one from Marks & Spencer that I got a few years ago, and I just love the shade of it. It's like a green-brown color. And I like that it's a little bit cropped because it doesn't take away from the dress. You could definitely go for a longer dress here as well, almost like for a maxi dress. And of course, this of course requires a hat because if you follow me on Instagram, I'm a little bit obsessed with this hat. I love hats in general. I don't wear them enough. I just don't wear hats enough and I don't know why. I just need more occasions more places to go wearing a hat and I didn't really pick a bag but I will go and get a bag that will fit better. Ta -da! This is the bag that I would take for this outfit. It's my little Chloe bag and I just think that the colors here just go so well together. Any kind of earthy, more natural colors, browns, uh, greens, more earthier, calmer tones, um, I think will look so, so good. I'm totally channeling my previous life as a cowgirl. Um, I'm sure I was riding horses somewhere um, in the desert 
totally sounds like a dream you guys I love horses and I love horse riding and yeah so I think this style for some reason is so close to my heart though there is nothing cowboyish in my country like there's not a snippet of it out there but I am feeling this I'm feeling the white dress feeling the little crop jacket feeling the boot loving the bag everything suits everything fits and this is our outfit number five. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. That is it for today you guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for hanging out with me i hope you enjoyed it i will leave the links to everything that is available in the description box below if it's not available i'm gonna find you some dupes and they will be down in the description box as well don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet if you have any questions at all or any requests for videos let me know and i hope you're all doing well and i hope to see you guys very soon again in my next video Bye.